There is a silent killer all around us. It's in our homes, our parks, and our schools. It's used to make our environment safer, but there are unintended consequences being caused by anticoagulant rodenticides or rat poison. For decades, rodenticides have been the unquestioned way to stop or curb rodent infestation. However, there's a reason good housekeeping has removed its seal of approval from Decon products. When a rodent is poisoned, it takes up to three weeks to die, making it easy prey for predators. The predators then die from secondary poisoning. The loss of these predators results in more rodents. If they go away, the food chain gets out of balance. Gophers and mice and rats will take over. And then there'll be too many, and they'll populate too much. We have to have those animals to keep our life in balance. Anticoagulant rodenticides are decimating the wildlife throughout the state of California and the rest of the country due to the lack of regulation. Every year, thousands of children under the age of six are accidentally poisoned. In Los Angeles, wildlife biologists have found that most of the predators that keep the rodent population under control have been poisoned by the unregulated use of these products. 95% of bobcats have tested positive for anticoagulant rodenticides. Also suffering secondary poisoning are mountain lions, hawks, raccoons, skunks, and owls and of course any pet unlucky enough to come in contact with these products. Rodenticides are among the top three causes of pet poisoning. In California, 14 cities including Malibu and San Francisco have passed resolutions to stop selling rat poison. Citizens for Los Angeles Wildlife, or CLAW, is leading the effort to implement regulation and restrictions on this indiscriminate killer. CLAW is working with council member Paul Coretz to regulate the use of anticoagulant rodenticides in the city of Los Angeles. Hi, I'm Los Angeles City Council member Paul Coretz. We share our urban environment with squirrels and bobcats, mountain lions, birds of prey, raccoons. We have to remember that our actions can have larger impacts. I'm glad CLAW is spreading the word and I'm proud to work with them to address this important problem. Remember, poison kills everything not just one or two, it kills a rat, and it kills a cat, it kills me and you. It kills the grass, it kills the bees, and the water we drink, it kills the air we breathe, it kills the way we think, because it's poison. <laughs>